welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new welcome my name is melissa today i'm going to be showing you guys how i get my humidity proof blowout at home i'm also really excited to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by pantene thank you so much pantene for working with me i'm going to be showing you guys two products that i use from pantene that give me the absolute most amazing blowouts if you, want if you guys want to see how i get this perfect humidity proof blowout at home then just keep on watching all right you guys so i washed my hair in the shower today and while i was doing my makeup i let my hair air dry so it's a little bit dry but it's still pretty damp on the inside so we are going to start blow drying the hair so what i like to do is kind of air dry it a little bit more with my blow dryer and then i'll section it off in smaller sections and get that smoother blowout Okay, so now my hair is fully dry and as you can see it looks okay like it just looks perfectly fine but the thing is the minute I step outside into the humidity and if it's too hot my hair will start to get a little poofier it's not as soft as I would want it to be and it's already a little bit poofy and the humidity will make that a lot worse I'm gonna show you guys the products that I use to get that really smooth and soft blowout look the first product I'm gonna use is the Pantene mist behaving dry conditioner mist this is kind of like the love child between a leave-in conditioner and a styling spray it's a super fine mist that's going to distribute evenly along your hair and the way that it works is that it's going to condition your hair with a blend of light as air hydrators it's paraben free it's sulfate free and it also has omega-9 this dry conditioner mist has really nourishing ingredients that's going to tame down frizz it's going to make your hair really easy to detangle and it's just really going to soften up your hair if it's just unruly or uncooperative all right so the way that you're going to want to use the dry conditioner mist is that you will hold it six to eight inches away from your hair this is going to ensure that you get the most coverage throughout your hair and then you're going to spray it but you're only going to spray it around like mid length of your hair and down you do not want to spray it at your roots the first thing you're going to notice when you use a conditioner mist is that it's such a fine mist so you do not have to worry about having product that's going to weigh down your hair i'm telling you guys this because i have very fine hair so if i use anything heavy my hair will instantly look very oily and dirty the second thing you're going to notice is how amazing this product smells like you literally smell like you're on a tropical vacation. I highly recommend this if you have color treated hair. Mine is colored, so it definitely gets a little rough feeling, especially after the blowout in a couple of days. It'll start looking not so nice, so I actually spray this in between my blowouts to keep the hair looking really soft and shiny. This is also gonna be great for taming down any frizz. This is like the main reason I use this product is because it really softens up my hair no matter how hot it is outside, how humid it is, it's not gonna frizz up. It is gonna stay looking really beautiful and soft. After I apply the dry conditioner mist, I like to go in with a really large curling iron, but I just kind of like to add a little bit of texture to my hair the barrel is so large that this isn't going to create curls it's more so going to give you like a bouncier blowout kind of look you cannot have a perfect blow humidity proof without this last step and for this we're going to be using the pantene never tell dry shampoo this is something that i do every single time i blow out my hair and it is going to make the biggest difference ever so the dry conditioner mist really tames down all of that frizz but the never tell dry shampoo is going to really make sure that our hair looks absolutely perfect for days and days and days until you choose to wash your hair again this dry shampoo is sulfate free it is paraben free it has pro vitamin b5 and it also has wild mint and tapioca from the cassava root it smells amazing you guys this one is really great because there's absolutely no residue you want, you want to make sure that you shake it up really really well and then you're just going to start suctioning off your hair and spraying this directly onto your root so i kind of always start in the center because i always part my hair in the middle so you kind of just spray it and spray it on the sides this part here can get a little oily so just section off and spray at the root like I said spray it at the neck 
like at, on the lower part of your neck so you know when it gets hot and you start sweating and then you ruin like that bottom part of your hair it'll start getting like curly and frizzy spray it there also and then what you want to do is just use your fingertips to massage the dry shampoo into your root the reason I like to use dry shampoo right when I blow out my hair is because it's going to start already absorbing any oils that I want to build up. So before I even start sweating or go outside, I want to make sure that I have dry shampoo in my hair to start absorbing those oils. As you could see, it just goes on completely transparent when I was spraying it. There's no residue. There's no like white marks. So. And this is it, you guys. This is how I do my humidity proof blowout at home. You can go out into the heat feeling as confident as ever because your hair is going to stay looking amazing. I'm really excited when I find products that blow me away and I just get really excited to share them with you guys. So I'm going to be listing a link down below so that you guys can click on it and shop for these two products. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that my tips and tricks really help you guys get the most amazing blowout. Don't forget to check the description bar and I will see you guys in the next video.